Hey there, it's Ash from Elementor. Today in this tips and tricks tutorial, I'll show you how to combine Elementor features to create this amazing pop-up playlist. Elementor gives you everything you need to build a website in just a few clicks. It's easy to create a single template using widgets separately. But for more complex designs, we might need a different approach which combines several Elementor features. In this tutorial, we will use a template shortcode to add our unique design inside a tabs widget. We'll then use a dynamic link to activate a pop-up containing our video playlist, and we'll learn how to add advanced customizations to our widgets using CSS. So if you're ready, let's get started. We'll begin in our editor. We have already set up our website to display a variety of music categories. In this example, we chose the Lo-Fi category which will showcase the top shortlisted online channels. I'll go ahead and delete this tabs widget so that we can start building in an empty column. Search for and drag in the tabs widget into our column. The tabs widget is a really great way to help you categorize your content. What's even more awesome is that it allows you to load an entire template inside of it using a shortcode. Before we explore how to add a template to this widget, let's first give the tab items a name. And then we'll amend some styles. Let's now save our changes and head to the templates area. Type Command E on Mac or Control E on Windows on your keyboard to bring up the Elementor Finder and then search for Templates. Then select Save Templates. Once this page loads, now select Add New. We'll select Section, name our template file, and then select Create Template. Let's first dismiss the library window and then create a new section which contains one column. We'll set the content width to full width and then switch to the style tab. Set the background color using our global color choices and in the advanced tab, unlink the padding and enter 20 pixels in the top box. While Elementor gives you everything you need to build a website without a single line of code, for advanced designs, Elementor gives you the ability to add your own CSS, which can enhance a template's look even further. Let's first search for and drop in an image box widget. Change the image, add a title, and remove the default description. Switching over to the Style tab, set the width to 65%, amend the hover animation to shrink, and the transition duration to 0.5. Now expand the Content tab and amend the typography. If we now select the Advanced tab and go to Positioning, we can adjust the width of this widget. Under Width, choose Custom and set this to 50%. This will allow us to position two image box widgets side by side, which is a great technique to adopt as it generates much less code than using an inner section or more columns, ultimately resulting in faster loading times. We'd like to add a border to our image only, so let's add some custom CSS to achieve this. Select the Custom CSS tab, and then add the following line of CSS. If you would like to copy and paste this CSS, you'll find it in the description of this video. If we now right click onto the image box widget and select Duplicate, you'll see exactly what our positioning settings have achieved. Let's update this second image box widget. Now that our row is ready, let's add a divider to give a nice space underneath our elements. Set the width to 50% and the alignment to center. In the Style tab, set the color and then the gap. And finally, in the Advanced tab, unlink the margin values and enter minus 20 pixels in the top box. Now that we've created our first row and divider, we can duplicate these to save some time. First of all, open the navigator by typing Command I on Mac or Control I on Windows. To ensure that the navigator isn't blocking your view, you can drag it over to the right hand side and you'll see that it snaps to the edge. Right click the first image box and then select Duplicate. Now drag this widget from within the navigator to the bottom. 
This is a great way to easily move around and organize your widgets, columns, and sections. Do the same for the second image box widget, and then also the divider. Now update these two widgets with their relevant images and titles. We'll now repeat this step several more times to add in all of our radio stations. Once finished, save your changes and publish. Great, we have now finished creating our list. Now let's explore how to add this template inside our Tabs widget. Press Command E on Mac or Control E on Windows to open the Finder, and then type Templates once again. Command or Control click this template link to open it into a new tab, as we'll be coming back to this soon. As you can see, our new template is now showing, and on the right hand side you'll see a column titled Shortcode. Select this shortcode and copy it. Let's now head back to the home page, and again we can get there quickly by using the Elementor Finder. Select the Tabs widget, then open the first item, remove the default text, and then paste in the shortcode. Update the page, and then click Preview. As you can see our new template is now showing within our Tabs section. If we scroll down however, you'll see that the entire page scrolls. We'd like our list to scroll and the rest of our content to stay fixed. Let's head back to the template file and make that happen. Select the section which holds this content and navigate to the Custom CSS tab located in the Advanced section. Add the following CSS code, and again you can copy and paste this from the video description for ease. By adding the overflow property we can now add as much content as we like and this section will scroll indefinitely, providing a great user experience. Ok, everything is looking and working fantastic so far. It's now time to add an action so that when our user selects one of the radio stations, the video playlist appears. We're going to easily create this with a pop-up. Navigate your way to Templates, Pop-ups. Add a new pop-up. Give it a name, and then dismiss the library. First of all, add a new one column section, switch to the Style tab, and then set the background colour. Now search for and drop in the Video Playlist widget. Rename the playlist, and don't worry that you can't see that right now, it's the same colour as the background, but we'll fix that soon. Expand the first item, and add in your video link. Make good use of the Get Video Data button, as it will automatically populate your video title, duration, and thumbnail. You can of course amend any of these manually if you need to. Now expand item 2, and repeat the process, and then do the same for the remaining videos. Ok, that's all of our videos added, let's now continue with our customizations and configurations. Select the Image Overlay tab next, enable this option, and then select your image. With the Image Overlay enabled, we can also amend the Play icon. Now expand the Additional Options tab. Here you can control the behaviours and further configurations associated with the videos that you're displaying. Onload will automatically play the video, and next up will play the videos consecutively. We'll remove the thumbnails, the play and watched icons, and then enable lazy load. Let's now add some custom CSS in the advanced panel to adjust this widget slightly for our exact requirements. Again, we provided this CSS code for you in the video description. Don't worry that this doesn't look exactly how we'd like it to just yet. Let's switch over to the style tab and make our final customizations. We'll set the height to 650 pixels, amend the top bar background colour, typography, and video amounts. Next, set the video item background colour, item colour, item typography, duration colour, and finally the duration typography. Now set the active styles, the item colour, Item Typography, and Duration Typography. 
Select the column next and then add a white 2 pixel border. Then set the padding to 0 pixels on all sides. Let's now amend some settings to the actual pop up. Select the gear icon in the bottom left hand corner. Switch over to VW and set this to 38. The horizontal position will set to right and the vertical position will set to bottom. Let's hide the overlay and also the close button. Now set the entrance animation to slide in up and the exit animation to slide out down. Selecting these will open the animation duration settings which will set to 0.5. Now in the advanced tab, unlink the margin values and then set the right hand side to 50 pixels. Let's now save our pop-up and set its conditions by selecting the publish button. Choose add condition and by default entire site is selected. From here we can simply select save and close. Now it's time to connect everything together and test out our new video playlist pop-up. Open the template file first of all and select the first image box widget. In the link field, let's select the dynamic tags icon. Scroll down to the action section and then select pop-up. Now select pop-up and then search for the pop-up that we've just created. Once you've found and selected the pop-up, simply update the template and then we're ready to test it out. Open your website now and as you can see that by clicking onto the first image the video playlist pop-up appears and looks fantastic. We can click the image again and the playlist then disappears. We've gone ahead and populated the other radio stations and as you can see we can switch between them effortlessly providing a great user experience. By combining elemental features like template shortcodes and pop-ups, you can create some amazing and interactive website experiences for your users. Let your imagination run wild, experiment with different combinations and share your websites below so that we can all be inspired. Thank you for watching, be sure to comment below with any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe.